From actors not joking about being pissed, to thespians taking their lunchtime grub very seriously, it's time to dive into why this lot abruptly called time on their day of shooting. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 actors who stormed off movie and TV sets and why. Number 10. Grace Jones wants a bigger cameo. No time to die. It's safe to say that the making of the 25th James Bond big screen adventure came with its fair share of movie shaping behind the scenes drama. And while news of original director Danny Boyle wanting to call it a day and head down a different avenue entirely on the back of not agreeing with the script he was tasked with bringing to life quickly stole the headlines. The departure of another well-known face midway through shooting was somewhat overlooked. Model singer actor Grace Jones, known for her work on the likes of Conan the Barbarian and A View to a Kill, was said to have been originally attached to appear in No Time to Die at one point in what would become Daniel Craig's last 007 outing. However, upon discovering that her part was substantially smaller than what she expected, the the then 70-year-old superstar took her brief cameo appearance as a slight and sharply stormed out of the production altogether. Number 9. John Boyega has issues with the script and accommodation. Rebel Ridge in the wake of appearing in arguably the biggest movie series of all time, as one of the Star Wars sequel trilogy's trio of leading new faces, John Boyega's big screen output appeared to slow down substantially. And while he will be hitting 2022 in a rather big way, appearing in the likes of 892, The Woman King, and They Clone Tyrone, another new project starring the Finn actor was also set to land on our screens sooner rather than later. But with Netflix's Rebel Ridge hitting a few speed bumps during its production, it's still unclear as to when this thriller will actually arrive. Live. On top of the pandemic postponing shooting for a spell, once filming finally did resume, Boyega was said to have swiftly walked off set a few months later. According to various sources talking to The Hollywood Reporter, the family reasons cited for Boyega's exit by Netflix were far from the truth. In reality, those sources claimed that Boyega wasn't happy with everything from the film's script to the accommodations he was given while shooting. In the end, whatever the reasons, Boyega's sudden departure paved the way for Aaron Pierre's casting in his place later down the road. Number Eight, Tom Hardy has a meltdown, Venom. You'd be forgiven for assuming Tom Hardy is always having a whale of a time throughout the making of his recent symbiote showings. What with the actor routinely being allowed to let loose and even dive into a lobster tank on occasion. However, a report that trickled onto the old interweb back in 2018 around the time of the first Sony Venom features release seemed to suggest that it isn't always plain sailing for Hardy and the crew when breathing life into this Spider-Verse project. In a moment that had seemingly been threatening to come to pass for days, as as Hardy had reportedly been huffing and puffing a lot over parts of the shoot, the formidable acting star unleashed an explosive rant, aimed at the film's script partway through shooting one day, declaring, you guys have got to sort this out. I am not saying this stuff. It doesn't make sense. Sure enough, Hardy then refused to shoot any more scenes and hit his trailer until the script was whipped into shape. Number seven, John Wayne loses his cool over leaves. Four sons. It doesn't matter whether you're the one tasked with performing an action time and time again in front of the camera or the person in charge of making sure everything is set in place to film a sequence being done to death. There's only so far you can push a human being, and while he would go on to become an undoubted titan of the screen later down the road, John Wayne actually found himself in that latter category on the set of John Ford's Four Sons. Brought aboard to help on the production side of things in his younger years, Wayne found himself lumbered with the unfortunate task of having to dump and subsequently sweep up leaves between takes. Before long, Wayne grew weary of the relentless retakes and lost track of what he was supposed to be doing, sweeping when he should have been dumping and completely ruining the shot in the process. Oh, nightmare. Infuriated by his own stupidity, Wayne would march off the set in a tantrum, but far from killing off his career, Ford was said to have been entertained by his antics, and the lad even scored himself one of his earliest roles in the project as an officer. Number 6. Pedro Pascal is sick of his helmet, the Mandalorian. Even dream jobs hold the capacity to leave stars shaking their fists at Tatooine's two sons on occasions. And that's precisely the position Pedro Pascal found himself in when helping put the pieces in place for the second season of the Mandalorian series. After apparently pushing for some scenes that didn't actually involve him wearing his unmistakable Beskar helmet, those pulling the strings for the project higher up simply refused to budge on keeping Mando in his suit as much as possible. Things apparently got so heated on set following Pascal reportedly trying to convince Lucasfilm to intervene, the star was asked to leave the set for a time. That being said, Pascal would personally deny these rumblings later down the line, stating on the one show, that is not true actually. It's a really wonderful way of telling the story. It's always been a very clear creed for the character. With Pascal showing no signs of slowing down as Din Djarin, it appears that if there were any issues, they've since been thoroughly ironed out. 
Number 5. Russell Crowe Needs His Rice – The True History of the Kelly Gang Not exactly known for his penchant for taking deep breaths and a quick five minutes to meditate should something seriously irk him on a movie set, or in life in general, Russell Crowe was at it again when it came time to shoot on the 2019 feature The True History of the Kelly Gang. But far from being pissed at the way he was being treated on set, or clashing with a co-star, it turns out that the Academy Award-winning Australian was infuriated to the point of storming off set due to a catering issue. Clearly in the mood for a spot of rice a few weeks into shooting on the picture, a number of crew members were reportedly informed via text that Crow had completely lost it upon discovering that the supply of rice on set had been completely ravaged, and quickly made his exit from the setting. Losing your head over a lack of basmati may sound a bit nuts, but at least it isn't as severe as launching a telephone at a concierge because you're struggling to make a phone call to the land down under, something Crow was accused of in 2005. Number 4. Val Kilmer Isn't Loving It Burger Advert Another Hollywood character largely known for being a rather difficult cat to deal with for the most part, it'll probably not come as too much of a surprise to hear that the mighty Val Kilmer was making enemies and his feelings known long before he rocked up in the likes of Top Gun, The Doors, Tombstone, and Batman Forever. Jumping all the way back to his formative years, a 12-year-old Kilmer was simply having none of it when it came time to call action on a hamburger commercial. Despite the fact this was one of the youngster's first ever gigs, that still didn't stop Kilmer from clashing with the director due to him struggling to find his motivation. Quickly realizing that he wasn't destined to meet eye to eye with the director in question, Kilmer would set the tone for the rest of his career in telling the advert Helmer where to go, as he dramatically made his way off the set. Number 3. Various actors refused to shoot and background artists refused to return. Euphoria Adding to the behind-the-scenes drama that has already threatened to derail much of the goodwill being sent towards season 2 of HBO's smash hit Euphoria series, it turns out that Barbie Ferreira wasn't the only performer who decided enough was enough while shooting for this follow-up season of the teen drama show. According to one background actor in particular, the performer described her experience shooting on the project as miserable and horrible when uploading a since-deleted TikTok video online. With the episode involving Lexi's school play centered around the rest of the characters on screen being the major focus of this critique, the 59-minute episode that reportedly took weeks to get in the can was littered with continuity errors, thanks to many extras opting to not return to shoot due to the 16-hour filming days. Along with certain extras not being in the mood to shoot various scenes, it turns out that the likes of Minka Kelly, Sydney Sweeney, and Chloe Cherry all also refused to shoot a number of moments nude. All three stars voiced their opinions on not feeling they needed to be naked, as scripted, in multiple moments, including a beat that would have seen Cherry standing completely bare whilst covered in blood, all of which Sam Levinson reacted to by pivoting and changing the sequences in question. Number 2. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio is done with James Cameron the abyss. Known for driving both his actors and crew members around the bend, almost as much as he is for bringing some of the most iconic features in movie-making history into existence, James Cameron clearly just doesn't seem to mix very well with, you know, humans. Adding to his infamous on-set legacy, with his angering of Aliens' British film crew very nearly derailing that film entirely, the director also massively clashed with his performers during the making of 1989's The Abyss. And while Ed Harris somehow found a way to soldier on despite nearly being drowned, and decades his director for his recklessness, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio simply felt that it was time to call it a day, on the back of a CPR scene that went just too far. With the actor being repeatedly slapped in the scene that saw Harris screaming, FIGHT, and Cameron demanding numerous takes, a malfunctioning camera was the last straw for Mastrantonio. Before long, she'd stormed off the hellacious shoot and blasted the director, claiming, WE ARE NOT ANIMALS, as she refused to return to finish the scene, which also explains why Harris's performance became much of the focus in the end product. Number 1. Joaquin Phoenix Just Isn't Feeling It Joker Putting together a performance capable of taking home an illustrious Oscar gong isn't what many would class as a walk in the park. And if Joaquin Phoenix's unpredictable behavior on set was anything to go by during the making of Todd Phillips' DC detour that was Joker, there were many occasions when it looked like the star's Academy Award winning, though often frustrating work, would never see the light of day at all. Despite very much throwing himself into the role of Arthur Fleck and the various scenarios that this grounded version of the eventual Batman villain found himself in, over the course of the gritty character study, Phillips himself would note that Phoenix did actually have a habit of walking out on a scene partway through shooting. As the director told the New York Times, sometimes he just wasn't feeling it. Thankfully, the star was able to tap into his inner Joker long enough for Phillips to capture a truly mesmerizing performance. But for a minute there, it must have felt like Phoenix was very much washing his hands and face of this green-haired chuckler on more than a few occasions. And that's our list. 
list of any other actors who stormed off movie and TV sets? Be sure to let me know all about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're there. Also, if you're into this kind of thing, head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from whatculture.com. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today, and I'm sure I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.